Hello students. Today we are going to learn a new chapter. The name of the chapter is The Sri Krishna Eating House. Are written by Anita Deshan. Okay. So in this chapter we see uh, a boy named Hari. This part of the story is taken from a book called The Village by the Sea. which is delightful story about a poor family so here in the particular uh, story we see the family of a uh, hari and uh, the story about the, the four family the four children hari leela bela and kamal have to look after themselves because their mother is sick and uh, their father is drunk most of the times so who has to look after the family the children the elder one hari had to look after the family hari and leela are the two older children and the main character in the book hari feels it is his duty to care for his family who feels hari the elder one in the family he feels that it is his duty to look after the family and leaves his sister and his house and goes to uh, mumbai hoping to get work and earn some money he knows no one in the city but a kind watchman takes him to a small and a dirty restaurant this is the story is all about in the chapter so we shall read the chapter you can also take page number 67 hari had been so tired and weak and anxious that first night that he had not really been aware of the place in which he found himself so hari traveled quite a long distance and in fact he might have been reached in mumbai the city and he was so tired and also very anxious about the uh, that first night and had not really be aware of the place in which he found him himself he was not aware of the place where he was and it was a new place for him he only saw it for the first time when he woke up in the next morning he had seen it the first time okay so the sri krishna eating house was the meanest and the shabbiest restaurant hari had ever seen now the in this paragraph we see about talking about the uh, restaurant okay hari had ever seen such a shabbiest and the meanest restaurant in his life thal even in thal that means thal is his own birthplace even in thal where where they they were cafes that were pleasant he says that uh, i had so many uh, restaurant i had seen in the in my own place thal but i have ever seen such a shabbiest and meanest place like this sri krishna eating house and uh, usually wooden sack built in the shade of a mango or a french pine tree with uh, a handful of marigold and hibiscus crammed into an old ink bottle for a vase so he says that i have seen in thal so many restaurants and um, the restaurant were made um, the built in the shade of a mango tree or a french pine tree and how it was arranged a handful of marigolds and hibiscus the flowers the merry gold flowers and hibiscus crammed into a an ink bottle crammed means push into a ink bottle for vase that was the vase they have arranged in front of the um, god or goddess okay they have uh, collected a few flowers from merry gold and hibiscus and put in an ink bottle and uh, used as a vase colored bottle of aerated drink attractively arranged on the shelves and possibly a bright picture of god or goddess on the wall with a tin shell garlanded around the frame and heavily scented jokes were 
burning before it so here the uh, um, hari is comparing the restaurant in thal and the restaurant the um, sri krishna eating house so he says that the restaurant in thal were usually made with a wooden sacks built in a shade of trees there would be a few flowers in a vase attractively arranged shelves and a picture of god or goddess on the wall so though it was the restaurant in thal they were they, uh, they were uh, uh, made with a wood or a sack but it was neatly made and also uh, attractively arranged shelves of picture god or goddess uh, on the wall and uh, in contrast to this sri krishna eating house was dirty cobwebs covered the ceiling and the table and the floor and the floors were blank with the dirt so who is telling all this uh, the uh, hari hari is telling all this and comparing the um, restaurant in thal and the sri krishna eating house okay and the next line but the sri krishna eating house did not have even so much as colored picture of krishna glued to the wall they did not have though the name is sri krishna eating house but they did not have a many picture of uh, sri krishna uh, glued to the wall there was nothing hanged on the wall the any picture of sri krishna or perhaps there had been one and it had disappeared under the uh, layers or of grim and soot which would the wall were coated so perhaps there would have been one hanging on the wall but that also was disappearing under the layers of the soot and the dust and the dirt the ceiling was thick with the cobwebs and it trapped the soot and it made a kind of furry the ceiling what was the ceiling the condition of the ceiling the ceiling was thick with cobwebs covered with cobwebs and it was trapped coated up with a soot and made a kind of soft blanket we can say so you can say that the ceiling was covered with the cobwebs and is covered with a black soot and a, you can say it as a soft blanket like it was hanging you can imagine how dirty the restaurant will be okay and um, the floor and the wooden tables were all black too since they have all got an even share of soot from the open stoves in the black room where the uh, lentils were cooked all day in a huge aluminum pan and the chapatis were rolled by the hand and baked so what is the reason why the restaurant was so dirty and the fan and the ceiling and the table the floor everywhere it was so dirty even the utensils uh, utensils which they have used also was so looking so uh, dirty because the reason is that 24 hours they were cooking the food outside the the fire was outside and the uh, dust and the smoke was coming from there that is the reason why the restaurant was so dirty and everywhere the wall and the ceilings were so dirty okay students so your homework is you read the chapter once or twice understand the chapter and uh, lay, find out the difficult words and write it down in the copy with its meaning okay thank you for listening